no Infinity. Olha lá. Ah, galera. If you guys were watching episode 31, you saw that we, as we were about to leave Babylon Burger Bar, the chef came out and we decided that we were gonna do a little video at Babylon Burger Bar. Do you wanna do a vlog? And I'll come back in there, we'll okay. watch you whip some shit up. He's gonna show us a couple of the more popular dishes. He's gonna like, you know, cook them up while we kind of ask him about the journey that he's been on as they, since they opened that, uh, that restaurant. We're gonna hear about that story, any like challenges and successes that they've seen. It should be fun, and we're gonna eat some good food again. So we'll be back in the, a very familiar setting, and we're on our way there right now. So we'll see you in a little bit. I'm only. Why did you guys decide to open the second one? Did an opportunity come up or did you just yeah, my stepfather, successful? My stepfather always wanted to branch out. You know, he's a businessman. He likes, uh, he loves doing stuff like this. He saw the business was doing well, you know, so about three years in, he started looking for other locations and the kind of person he is, he wasn't going to take it unless it was a perfect situation. Yeah. Are you nervous about the competition? With it not being so like a ton, like a town, like Huntington or with all the restaurants around? I'll be honest with you, not so much because there's not any burger places That's very around true. here. You know, there's, we're like the only place that really does burgers, you know, and then the whole milkshake thing. You send one out to a table oh, and yeah. people look at them, they, like just, show. they just buy them. It's just crazy. <laughs> all right, let's start, let me start throwing some burgers on the grill. Honey. I got my scratch offs too, you know. I'm trying to start, oh, the, day off. Yeah. Trying to start the day off right. I'm trying to retire. <laughs> yeah, you told me how much you liked your job. He's trying yeah, to retire. Man, this is some hard work, so if I hit this, uh, I'm out of here. So the year I transferred to private school, he transferred into my public school. So we yep. really never hung out. No. Like ever. No, I'm sure if I grew up with you guys, I would have I would have been right there with oh, you. Oh, for sure. You know? <laughs> it's heartbreaking that we didn't get like oh. four years of high school. Yeah, it's plenty of life left, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> and now you, you have access to good food, so I'm yeah, gonna have to come around. <laughs> I'm sure I'll That's see you. That's the only reason I'll be here. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, I went on a date once, and a girl got a ribeye. Uh -huh. I ordered it medium well, and I straight up almost walked out the door. Killed it, man. But how do you eat a ribeye? That's like, like, that's like the door testing. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, the door that's testing. That's fine. Yeah, that's the modern day dog test. I get out of here. Of course, there was tough moments. Whenever a restaurant is new, you know, you gotta work the kinks out. And you know, we had to go through a bunch of people to get, like, find out who was uh, really good and who not. And that's when I stepped up. I basically told my stepfather. I oh, said, so you didn't start off as that chef? No. Head chef. Wow. I came here as a sous chef, you know. I, I was trying to learn. I was yeah, always in a learning process, you know. Like, but basically, once he was gone and I stepped up, it's just like, Rich, let me do it. My stepfather's rich, so I said, who's better, than, who's better than me to do it? You know, this, I treat this place like it's mine. You know, like, I'm always here, you know, I'm loyal, you know, and uh, this is what I do. Because I feel like if you're gonna be a chef, you're only doing it if you're really passionate about it, which is great, but it's like long hours, it's tough, right? And even if you talk to my friends, they'll tell you, like, I barely see them. Yeah. You know, it's like, as sad as that is, it's just like, this place is my home, and it's like, I gotta dedicate my life to this place, you know? What's um, a PB and J wings? You texted me that. I, was, I thought you meant PB and J and wings. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's a like peanut butter and jelly sauce that we and then we add it to the wings. It's kind of like, uh, believe it or not, it's like an Asian, like, like a sweet texture. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little peanut flavor to it. It's, it sounds good. Like peanut and chicken, like, that makes sense, you yeah. know? There's our peanut butter and jelly wings. Wow, that looks fantastic. Mac and cheese wing. No. Yeah. Peanut oh, <laughs> it's a mac and cheese burger. Peanut butter and jelly wing. That sounds way more interesting, the peanut butter and jelly. Oh my god. Wow. Richie was killed it. This place is amazing. Like come by for a sick burger, sick shake. The chef is a personality. He's 
very handsome as well. And like, <laughs> great stuff. Yeah. Thank you, brother. No problem, man. Appreciate it. I'll be around soon. Thank All you. right, man. I feel like the fact that I'm this happy here means I'm in the wrong career, but we're gonna ignore the fact that I might 